Hey guys, this is Andreas with Nothing But Tablets and this right here is Notes Plus which is uh, a note-taking app that was released uh, a long time ago, several years actually but it's been updated and updated and updated and uh, just gotten better since it was released naturally um, The reason I'm bringing it up right now is that it has some features that uh, makes it a lot like the Microsoft Courier, which also means that it's a lot like the Tapos A app that just came out. Uh, and I felt kind of bad talking so much about Tapos A and not showing you that there are actually alternatives as well. So, this is Notes Plus. It's basically, if you watched my videos about Tapos A, you can call, and also about Good Notes. Um, this is basically sort of like the offspring of those two apps. Um, you have your classic note taking app uh, with all the bells and whistles, and uh, when I say that a note taking app has all the bells and whistles, that basically means that I can go. Uh, back out, I can go into uh, an app that can export PDF files um, and I can open that in the app so basically it has PDF import, that's one of the things that I require a note taking app to have to even be on my list of apps to check out. Uh, the other thing is that it has this magnification mode that allows you to sort of zoom in and uh, write very small text um, that um, gets sort of shrunk down or you can write large text that is shrunk down um, but it does also do a lot more um, just to sort of clarify why I'm not using this, why I'm using good notes instead uh, because I have had this app on my iPad for ages now, but I don't use it for one simple feat, uh, reason. Well, actually two reasons right now, the other being that it doesn't support the iPad, but right now I'm trying to zoom out and it won't let me, because it will let me zoom in, uh, but it won't let me zoom out um, beyond uh, having the entire do uh, well width of the document visible on the screen. And I find that to be extremely annoying because uh, it doesn't really... Let me just switch away from the pen mode so I can scroll. It doesn't really let me um, see the entire document. So if I compare this to... let's I'm just going to close some background stuff because I'm running out of memory. So if I compare that to good notes... I think that it's much easier to use good notes simply because I can do like this and when you're using magnification mode then you might find yourself all over the screen like this um, I think it's just so much easier to be able to see the entire document even if it's very small text and that's especially true with the new iPad where you could actually be uh, read this text on the screen if you had the new iPad because of the resolution so that's just the reason why I'm not using Notes Plus but it's still a very good app, and as I said, it has some uh, features that are very Tapose like. You can see this slider here on the left, and it actually works a lot like in Tapose. And since this was first, I guess I should say that Tapose works a lot like this, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, it has a web browser to the left, and these two windows aren't, uh, should we say, equal in what they can do. The left one is web browser, but it also has the ability to open notebooks. So, um, this is the tutorial that's open right now, and you can see that this is actually a browser window that has opened a local file. You can see the sort of complicated address that uh, shows you how the hidden iPad... Um, file system works. But you can also of course go to other sites and through it go to things like Google Maps and uh, basically have a lot of the same functionality as you have in Tapos A. So they're not uh, really all that different. Um, the scissor tool is actually a rectangle here, the one that you could resize um, instead of being freehand. 
but once you take a snapshot, uh, you definitely recognize how it looks in, uh, from Tapu Say. Um, so that's one of the special features of this app. So you can have this uh, sort of split screen mode, but again, this is a big problem with the zooming because again, I can zoom in and now I don't even see the entire page with Vice. So that's definitely something I don't like and even though you can see that this has a lot of settings there's actually nothing in here that actually controls that which is sort of disappointing unless I missed it that's always a possibility but let's just go to a blank page and I can show you some of the other things that this app can do one of them being uh, shape detection basically if I uh, draw something like um, triangle it sort of automatically detects what I'm trying to do and converts it into a shape which is very useful if you're doing well math or something like that um, so it's fairly accurate even though my circles here are more like uh, oranges that someone ran over uh, but sometimes it doesn't detect them as shapes because instead it detects them as me trying to select something um, by the way, you can turn off this shape detection system. And uh, by me trying to select something, I mean that it's actually possible to... Uh, let me see, let me just write something here. Uh, this is for a video that I will post on nothing that's an ugly end so my handwriting isn't the best but um, if we just go out of this uh, zoom mode I can just select a pen and circle it and it should select it um, and that means that I can move it around and one of the very special things about this app is that it actually has OCR optical character recognition or and it's actually called something I like right recognition or something like that so that's an extra, and that's an extra two dollars. Uh, you have to you buy it by an in-app per uh, purchase. Uh, so I've done that. Just convert to text, um, and uh, as you can see, it's not. Uh, it doesn't like my handwriting all that much. So this is a video that I will post. Post oh, mashing the tablet. So it messed up on two words. But considering the fact that. Uh, uh, I write like a pig, I don't think I can actually blame it for that, so just try something else uh, how much would Okay, this wasn't actually any better as far as uh, calligraphy goes. Um, I would be very surprised if you understand even a word of this. So, let's see. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could something? Maybe I. Oh, there we go. It actually got all of it. It might have some sort of a, a common sentence uh, detection built in so that it guessed what I was trying to write based on the rest. So I don't know about that, but you can see that this can actually be extremely useful. So, um, of course, you can select the uh, sort of change the font and all that kind of thing as well. So you definitely have some features in there here that are very useful and just to f for the record you do have a more common note-taking app things like the ability to record audio 
I hope that didn't crash the uh, screen recording application. Um, and also you have uh, the ability to insert some... I actually got lost there. There we go. You can uh, insert stuff from the clipboard, insert uh, shapes manually, and uh, pictures and all that sort of thing. And of course you can export it uh, um, when you're done. So let's just try to export that into Goodreader and see how that handles the converted text. I actually haven't tried this before. So let's just say, uh, see. Okay, so it actually, is, um, if you export the PDF file, it actually uh, keeps the converted uh, text as text. So it uh, this Goodreader application actually detects it as text as well. So you can actually search it and uh, if we were to click search right here. Um, just search for word would find it right away so that's extremely useful um, so well that's been a very quick overview of uh, notes plus I don't use it much myself but it's definitely a very nice application It's very uh, definitely very impressive especially with the uh, optical uh, character recognition software that you can buy for it and also the split-screen view uh, it's more powerful than Tapo say but uh, at the same time it's uh, less true to the courier than I think Tapo say is. So, um, I mean, they are for different uses perhaps. But that's been a very quick look at Notes Plus for nothing but tablets, and thank you for watching.